Hi and welcome back. Thanks for joining us back again. In Unit 6, we're going to learn an interesting way of retaining and growing business. It is called rebate management. We will see how SAP Business by Design helps with managing rebates. Let's go. So firstly, what is a rebate? Before we answer that, let's understand how does a company typically incentivize business. A typical incentive is a discount. So to improve sales of a particular product, you would discount its prices in the hope that the customer now finds the price attractive. However, sometimes in business-to-business -business sales, customers negotiate discounts based on the volume of the business done. Let's take an example. A customer asks for a discount of 5% as they promised that they would do a business of about 10,000 USD within the quarter. Typically, you would give them a discount based on this. But it could happen that this customer does not do business. Here is where rebate comes in. A rebate is a special kind of discount that is paid retroactively to the customer once he reaches a particular sales volume, given in a period of time. This discount is, however, paid via a credit note. The person who typically manages the rebate management process is a sales representative. So what are the, some of the key benefits of rebate management? Rebates enable you to maintain long-term relationships with your customer. Your marketing team can use rebates as an incentive to draw in more customers. They can often be ways where in which this can be a way to offer financial reward to your customers, serving as a de facto thank you for doing business and buying goods and services being offered. The ultimate goal in issuing rebates is to generate higher level of consumer loyalty. SAP Business by Design offers flexibility to have agreements also on extension fields. Let's look at this process in more detail. The rebate management process in SAP Business by Design has three core components. The first being where you enter the rebate agreement. Here's where you define the terms of the rebate with the customer, like how much should be the volume of the business after which the credit note should be issued, and the duration of the agreement, etc. Once this is done, you move on to the next step, where you now, at this point of time, start posting customer invoices and see how rebate accruals are made. And uh, so you ask, what is a rebate accrual? This is a way to record at every transaction an estimate of what would be the credit note if we had to settle the rebate. We will look at this more in the demo. Finally, based on the terms of the settlement, you can then settle these rebates. This will make sure the credit memos will be created if and when the rebate conditions are met. Before we move to the demo, let's redo all the concepts that we've learned so far. Rebates are retroactive discount, which needs to be configured in the system. It's an agreement based on sales volume. Typically, your sales manager would use this tactic to incentivize sales from your customer. We will look at all these points in the demo. <coughs> Let's move on to the demo. So let's log into Business by Design. For the purpose of the demo, I will be playing the role of Bob Menson. Bob Menson has two accounts, Silver Star Wholesale and Luxury Heating and Cooling Co. Each of these accounts asks for a lot of discounts with the promise of additional sales in the future. We have now heard of rebate management and want to use this to give credit notes rather than use traditional discounts. And we will use the same terms of rebates for both of them. And let's see who does the business as promised. So let me log in. We can now go to the rebate management work center and create a new rebate agreement. So this would be a rebate for Silverstar. The account is Silverstar for the product of our heater. So now let's enter the currency. Let's say the terms of the settlement needs to be for a month. So starting the 6th of June all the way to the 6th of July. Here's where we come to now the accrual rate. The accrual rate would be a pessimistic approach of deciding on what should be if the customer met the sales targets and hence the rebate credit memo needs to be issued. So let's enter in here about 5%. Let's click on the settlement rate. So let's say if the customer does a business of about 10,000 USD, I issue him a credit note of a value of 2% of the total sales. Whereas 
if he does a business of about 20,000 USD, which is what he's promised, I would then actually issue him the credit note of the 5% of the value of the overall sales volume. So now that I'm confirmed that this is the rebate agreement that I wish to enter in with this particular uh, customer, let's save and activate this. So let's release this. And let's activate the settlement process for this. Once this is done, let's get into the same agreement with the other customer. So now I go to rebate management and I click on new rebate agreement. This rebate agreement would be for luxury heating. So now I enter the account luxury heating. In the product, in the currency, and again, we maintain the same terms of rebate agreement that we did with luxury heating. So starting from the 6th of this month until the next for a duration of one month. Again, I maintain an accrual rate of 5%. <clears throat> and the settlement rates, if he basically does a business of about 10,000, I pay a rebate credit memo for the value of 2%. After which, if he does a business of 20,000, which is what he has promised, I would then give him the entire rebate credit memo, which is of the value of 5% of the overall sales value. So let's save this and release this and activate the settlement process. So now the entire rebate agreement has been created, we can now start our business with both Luxury Heating and Silver Star. Let's say, let's mock a set of business processes with Luxury Heating and Silver Star. So for now, for Luxury Heating, let's create a customer invoice. So let's create a customer invoice. Let's click on view all and look at the pricing. As you can see here, an accrual rate of 5% is being applied since we are now doing a business of about 340 USD. Just for the purposes of the demo, let me increase the value of this invoice itself. Yeah. So let's say for the account of luxury heating, we do a business of about 11,000 USD. Let's save this as an invoice. And let's release this. Now let's create another customer invoice. But in this case, we will now create it for Silverstar. In this case, let's say he actually does the business of 20,000 USD. So, let's say the business is of 21,000 USD. Let's click on view all. And go to pricing as before. Let's expand all. As you can see here now, the accrual rate is of 5% and hence the amount that is being accrued is about 997.50 USD. Let's save this as an invoice. Let's release this invoice. Now let's have a look at how the accruals look like. So let's go to the reports in the report list. And there is a standard report called as the rebates report. And let's look at the rebate accruals for each of the rebate agreements. So the ones that we would like to see would be the rebate for Silver Star and the rebate for Luxury Heating. So let's click on Go. And let's also pull in the rebate agreement ID.
So as you can see here, we overall have a rebate agreement accruals of about 11,000 for luxury heating and for Silver Star, we have about 19,950. So now let's go ahead and see how this entire process now works. Let's start settling the rebates. So let's create the rebate settlement run and see how we can schedule this rebate. So let's click on luxury heating and click on schedule. Let's schedule this immediately. And similarly, we also do this for Silver Star. Let's schedule this and schedule it immediately. What we are now going to see is whether the rebates are going to get settled based on the accruals and the settlement rate that we have now defined. Let's have a look and see what is the status is now. We can see that the job for the first one has now finished. Similarly, let's click on the second one and click on a refresh and we see that the job for the second one has also finished. Let's look at our rebate credit memos. So as you can see here, there are two credit notes that have been created. One of the value of 330, 399 and the other one of 220. Each of these can then be invoiced and issued as a credit note to your customer. This is, now we, this is the way that we now issue credit notes to our customer based on the sales volume rather than use actual discounts. So now that we have finished with the demo for rebate management, as you can see that Silverstar was doing clearly more business as he was promised, hence gets credit notes accordingly. So rebate management is a powerful utility to incentivize sales without taking a hit on the revenue based on the promises of future sale. Hope you had a great session. This concludes Unit 6, the last unit for Week 4. We wish you take the very best for your weekly assignment. Thank you and have a nice day. See you in the discussion forum.